quality, consistency, and integrity are the key ingredients to success. Yo, this is Chef Dave, Normal Rise, <laughs> J.O. Jupiter's in the building. We're at the Doris H. Hamill Center for Culinary Enterprises. And this is the E-Kitchen. We can host a number amount of guests here. We have private parties. We've also done um, tastings here. And I was put on the preferred caterers list when we first started for the executives at the Enterprise Center at 45th and Market. It's an eight ounce warm water Turks and Caicos tail. Praise the Lord one time. Look at this. And we're gonna do it just like that. Oh. I'm telling you, man, sometimes when it comes to just events and parties, the food can make or break it. So he's gonna give us a quick tour. So what we got right here? Quick tour, this is Bakery Kitchen 1, Bakery Kitchen 2, pizza ovens. And when the uh, Kitchen 1 and 2 for production are booked up on the other side, you know, we come over here and utilize these kitchens. I think you can bake like 80 pies at a time. Damn. And this one, this machine right here is bad. But um, this is the Auto Sham. It's another state-of-the-art machine right here. All the equipment that we need, giant robo coop mixers, another mixer. This is the production side of Kitchen One. Got my sis Jessica right here in the production. What's up, y'all? So, we got the open face broiler, six burner range, double deep fryer here, double convection oven, plenty of space for prep and a refrigerated area there. We also have walk-in coolers and a deep freezer as well. We're gonna spin the block. Excuse me, Dale. Mm -hmm. Live here ice machine. This is our dry storage area where all of the entrepreneurs store their dry storage. The prep stations and packing stations for the companies that do just prep and uh, packing products. And this is the stove. We got the dish room. Bring everything from production, run it through the machines. Bar sanitized rinse. Fresh, fresh out the fryer. Got that golden brown southern fried wingettes for today's party. And Brian and JL just stepped in. We got these lollipop lamb chops. That's on the menu for him today. Fresh garlic, rosemary, Italian parsley, numerized seasonings. We're gonna pair that with an eight ounce Turks and Cake Coast Lobster Tail, Sauteed Asparagus, and Yukon Gold Mash, my top number one seller. Stay tuned. Hey, that's my spot right so there. I made an herbal uh, lemon zinger herbal iced tea for you. We got the clarified butter with the uh, votive on, little votive candle melting the butter now. So we're gonna plate you up, give you a little sample of everything for the part, today's party, and then your entree. So how'd you get started with this catering stuff? So WB Saw, I started out as um, meat cutting class, meat science, so butchering from ninth grade, took it over for about a year and a half. And my ninth grade year, I worked at Orangery's Ribs at 40th and Chestnut, which was my first restaurant experience, a little barbecue spot. And uh, I've also done retail and seafood, uh, deli, meat department. Then we've done uh, commercial uh, restaurants and fine dining and also catering companies, so I just wrapped it all up into one and no mirage, here we are. Loving this versus uh, opening a restaurant is some good I love to bring the restaurant to my clients. Okay. So I'm able to go to Airbnbs, hotel rooms, all of these different venues, and my special favorite thing to do is to go to my clients' homes and prepare fine dining meals for them and their family. So is this kitchen open to everybody too if they want to use it or no, well we have you have to open. have uh you have to be licensed and insured okay. you have to have your surf safe and uh food office protection certification from the city of philadelphia you also have to have your membership with the doris h hamilton center of culinary enterprises and there are um just a couple of other fees that you have to pay on a monthly basis to keep and maintain your production at the culinary center I noticed great cooks always have dope watches. What is that about? It's a little Movado action, you know. What's that about? Something like, something like, they got that 
Eagles <laughs> green on, baby. I see it. Get it seasoned up. It's an eight ounce warm water Turks and Caicos tail. Never been to Turks and Caicos, but I'm about to eat it. <laughs> Shout out to Pops too. R.I.P. Rest in power, Pops. Just lost my Pops three months ago, but we going stronger because he said, son, no matter what happens, you can't stop. It was so great because we got a lot of clients from the Enterprise Center on uh, 45th and Market. So I thought the business would continue to scale on that level when, in all actuality, my clientele had not been built up yet. So the following year was like, whoo, boom. So I had a friend suggest like all those restaurants you'd love to go out and eat. Why don't you go down there and show them your work? Got up, went to Ocean Prime. Talked to the executive chef, went to my Instagram page, showed all, all the credentials, this is what I can do. I did a stodge, they put me on line for like an hour and a half, showed them what I could do. Two days later, got a call, started working for Ocean Prime. I had to work for Ocean Prime for a year and a half to keep my business in business. Shout out to Chef Steve who worked with me. I used to give him the um, days that I would have events and he would let me come in the restaurant on the days I had off to keep income coming in. And then um, after COVID hit, we've just been flying for three years now, all no mirage. Entrepreneurship at its uh, realest moment. And with the ooh, little shake, shake, the sesame seed. Superman can fly high up in the sky. Look how that tail looks like he's ready to take off a flight, baby. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so we're just gonna shoot right here, right, right in the kitchen. Um, no Mirage Catering, thank you again for uh, opening your doors here and uh, showing me. I, I, honestly, I didn't really know too much about the catering business, so, and some of you may not too, so this video is for me and for the people that wanna get into it. You know, I just wanna, you know, it's about, this channel's about food, but it's also about educating people on how to get into something, so. Um, the big homie Damien said he's willing to mentor you guys, so reach out to him. I'll leave his information too. Uh, the food looks incredible. Catering food is different, man. It's I told you, man. I might I might renew my vows just so I can get catering food, man. Look at this. He was like, "Yo, you got cavities?" I'm like, "Nah." He's like, "Cause this thing is sweet." I'm like, "All right." <laughs> great, great personality, man. Great sense of humor. Sesame uh, flakes on here. Look at this. That looks amazing. That thing is glistening all over your body. This is the catering episode. I'm gonna do more catering episodes, so I don't want to leave y'all out. I just didn't. I just wanted to conquer a lane first, which was just small shops. But I feel like this year I'll be doing. I'll be peppering more um, catering businesses, and um, you know I might do some home cooked platters too. I mean this is what we do in Philly, and everywhere around the hood like you know people cook from home too but that's let me let me start with this first and um yo let's get into it cheers This right here What's though, saying, this is O double M. You know what O double M is? No, put me down. On my mama, this is good as hell. <laughs> That's not it's good, tender. Bro. You cooked it the way I want it, medium, medium well. Literally so tender, nice flavors to it. Um, it was Asian like this was an Asian like type of yes. influence, Teriyaki right? Teriyaki glazed with sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. Asian influences. Wow. That in there for you, bro. You know that. No question. Oh my God, that was amazing. I'm gonna show y'all again. I don't even think this is gonna make it home to the wife. No, I'm just kidding, baby. You gonna get some? Don't worry about it, bro. I'm gonna wrap the whole thing. <laughs> Look at that. Praise the Lord one time. Look at this. Church. <laughs> and we're gonna do it just like that. Oh. I'm Oh. I'm literally biting into a piece of heaven every time. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. And I'm actually quite impressed with the space here too. So for y'all that want to get into this, get what you need to get to get in here. If you need a space, if you need some mentorship, hey, you put out the open invite. You can't get mad at me if a thousand people in this DM now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know y'all jealous right now. I know y'all saying Jay always gets special treatment. I, you damn right I do sometimes. I ain't blind. <laughs> I built this man from the ground up. Right. See, normally I would I would savage, I would beast mode this thing and just throw, you know, I got and just eat it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. When you dip it in, you're gonna hear that song. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Ooh. I'ma just keep dipping this. That looks beautiful. The Turks and Caicos. The Turks and Caicos. Ooh. Salud. Look at that. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Exactly what I expected. Maximum seasoning, juiciness, sweetness, the buttery goodness. And I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I'm not really a lobster fan, unless it's done right. Like y'all go to like Red Lobster and order lobster. I'm like, yeah, I don't like that lobster right there. It gotta be on some like, like this. Here we go. This is one of my favorites. This, this lobster right here. I can actually taste the seasoning, the sweetness, the butteriness. Mm mm mm. And that's handcrafted, uh, handcrafted mashed potatoes too. I saw him do it. How we do it? Cheers, salute. Let's go. So y'all know I'm not just wearing a Lakers hat. This is actually the Sixers here too. Throwback NBA Finals 2001. You already know what that matchup. AI Game One. We, we definitely not done yet. Uh, let, me, let me show you what else he brought out. Look at this. Look at that. Perfectly fried. He got the uh, chicken cheese steak egg rolls too. You see the seasonings and the, the peppers in here too. It looks like uh, quality. God, I know y'all so jealous right now. Y'all so jealous. Look at this. This is illegal, bro. Yeah. This is illegal right yeah. here, man. Come on, baby. Woo. That's what do you, what do you call this type of sauce? That's that dip them, the dip them, the dip them sauce. Good lord. Got a nice heat to it. You just made it up. We're going to call that the Mirage. We're going to call it the JL Jupiter Special. <laughs> the JL Jupiter JL Special Jupiter Dip. Sauce. Good lord. That's the JL sauce. That's what we named it, JL sauce, man. Mm. I want the chicken cheese steak cake rolls and the JL sauce, yeah. <laughs> I ain't got no words. Yo, my mom was like, I love him. I watch him all the time. That's, that's fucking. Like I, I just can't. I can't stop, man. Look at this. Y'all got. Y'all got to order this too for y'all appetizers, man. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Flats. Y'all know I'm a flats kind of guy. Look at the hot sauce right here. I'm gonna dip this in there. Oh, man. I even think about that, man. Look at the crust. Really good. We'll do it again. 
marinate 24 hours on that. Seven different marinades wrapped into one. Mm. It's like hoisin or oyster, oyster sauce. That's the base. That's the base. <laughs> Damn, you good, man. <laughs> I said, I'm going to see. I wasn't going to tell you. I said, I'm going to see if we can figure it out. Mm. Mm. Not just Asian, it's more Southeast Asian. Right. Definitely uh, uh, something worth considering if you're having an event. Book him in advance. He's going to get busy after this video. He's already busy, but book him so that this building becomes his. He can buy it out. Dropping game on you, you know what I'm saying? Some motivation. They're going to name this after you, the No Mirage building. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to do with myself. You would put game. It would be an institution of you teaching kids. That would be decent. So I had a fantastic time here. Food, A1. Uh, must book, if you ask me. Uh, if you're having an event, what we have? We have graduation in a couple months. Y'all always have weddings. Y'all getting married. Uh, birthdays. I'll leave all his information in the description. Make sure you follow him on IG as well. I'm going to give him the alley-oop. Now, he, now he got to keep y'all informed about his services too. So um, this is my first catering video. So, you know, you made history on my channel, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, is this... Is this this uh Herbal. you cater this too? Yes. Yes. Can yes. I have another can yes. I have yes. can yes. I have yes. another yes. another yes. glass please? Yes. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't ask you. Um to no, that was too good. Um Get some more ice. I will I will leave y'all his information. Keep him busy. Uh fantastic food, fantastic person. And um yeah, man, thank y'all for joining me. See you in the next episode, all right? Peace.